about how to use Canva as a beginner to create wonderful graphics that you can use for your social media and uh, use it on your business graphics as well or just have a, uh, the graphics that you want to keep at home and uh, that video uh, I'll link it down below if you want to have a look at it again uh, but today I've got another video for you that will save you so much time so I'll show you the tips and tricks that you can use on Canva to speed up the process of uh, creating your graphics so um, without further ado uh, let's get into uh, the screen share okay guys I'm on Canva account now uh, this is my Canva business account and uh, as you can see you've got uh, the home page there so obviously uh, before you get here you have to sign up for Canva if you have another have a good account for Canva so sign up for your free account and trial and see whether you like the uh, the free account or you want to go into the pro version but I think personally think uh, Canva a free account is perfect is good unless you want more options uh, that uh, you can find on uh, the standard uh, free account, but the, the, you still find the free account is really, really good. Um, so as you can see, I'm on the home page and uh, I've got um, the templates as you can see all there that uh, um, Canva suggest for you. Then uh, below here, I've got the um, designs that I've done for so far for myself, and then obviously more templates now uh, down there. So uh, on the left side here, as you can see, um, it's, it's a taskbar on the left side of uh, this home page where you've got your design that you've already made, as I was saying there. Then you've got your brand kit. And then you can plan your content and post it from Canva, which is another great thing about uh, uh, Canva. And then if you have got a team, you can put them in there so they can have access to uh, this um, account. And then folders. Folders are just amazing because um, if you are not uh, having any folders, everything will be everywhere. So if you've got folders, now you are, uh, you know, you are tidying up your desktop kind of, or your desk, office, uh, office desk, because you can uh, put all the folders photos in different uh, folders according to what they are for and then the, the ones that you've got likes on them they will always come up on top when you look for for, for them and I've got my uh, some of my um, uh, folders there and then what you do you can um, start by going up there uh, create design then you choose what you want to do or you can just come up um, I'll go back uh, or you can just come up here and then search uh, uh, from here, like here I was doing Instagram or um, Instagram posts or video or whatever. It just comes up, it gives you the suggestion, then you uh, just select. And the great thing is that you don't need to worry about the size uh, because once you put Instagram, it will bring uh, the actual size that uh, comes for ready made for, for Instagram or Facebook. It will all design the, the template for you. So all you need to do is just click on that and then it comes then you come and select your uh your your uh your template that you want to do so we'll just select something so i can uh, then uh, go through uh some things uh, to show you and uh, uh we'll get onto the tips and tricks that i was talking about our first trick that i'm gonna show you guys is uh you probably uh, uh don't know <laughs> it's so easy and uh, you know you just um um uh, do it easy instead of start looking for for a place. So this number one tip is uh, uh, putting a text onto uh, onto your your canvas or onto your page what you're working on. So instead of going this side to go and find text there, what you can do you just click on the page uh, that you're working in and then just pre on the keyboard just press text and then the text will come and then you will type uh, you will type whatever you want to type and then you've got it there um, and then move it where you want to so you don't need to go and look for that and then bring it and so it's all, all there so that's one great thing that you can do about canva so so easy and nice to locate some of the things so that's one of the uh, tips that uh, I like doing and the next tip uh, that I will uh, show you guys while on the, uh, the, the text that we just put in text number two or tip number two is to um, to make the te text italic uh, you know instead of uh, going up there maybe trying to find where it is you can just do it once you put the text in and you already want it uh, to be italic uh, so what you do uh, if you are using a Mac uh, you just press command um, command and I 
I just command an I and the text on this is zoom I'll just make it say uh, yeah. Okay, so you as you can see it's already uh in italic. So you just press command and then I then it goes into italic. That's uh another easy uh tip number two. Then tip number three, while we are still on that one, if you wanna if you wanna make that text uh, bold you uh, the uh, next thing to do is to just command and b command and b so the text will be will be bold i'll just un, 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 uh, I, i'll just uh, unitalic it <laughs> if that's the word and then put, so yeah you just command and b uh, command and b and it becomes bold as you can see it's now bold so that is uh, tip number three that is uh, really really good as well and it's very quick it helps you Okay, uh, tip number four. Tip number four is a very popular one because uh, many people uh, talk about it a lot and they've been wondering how they can do it from uh, Canva. Instead of going to a different website, uh, remove the background and then come back to Canva, continue to work. So as you now know, um, the tip uh, number four is about removing the, uh, the background. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to um, add a new page, uh, then uh, um, get this uh, photo um, template there. Uh, I just need that photo. Uh, so I took that uh, template because I want to remove that background on the photo. So what you do, you click on the, not outside, but on the inside element that you want the background to come off. And then you go to effects and on the effects uh, on the left side, there's a, a tab that says background remover. And you just click on that and then you to remove the background. It takes a few seconds. Uh, and sometimes it depends on what um, the color combination is on that background. It can get a little bit tricky sometimes if there's complicated different colors, but otherwise it, it should remove the color. There you go. The, uh, the background is gone. And as you can see now, these beautiful kids, uh, they are on uh, the background of the entire template. So that's how it is. And that's why it's amazing. Then you can put your own um, background if you like and then the next uh, uh tip which is tip number five is going to be um, um moving all the elements on that you are working on um i'll come up here and come to this main one so i'll click on the entire um the entire template and then i want to move all of the templates uh around so what i'll do uh, because i'm using mac um pressing command and a and then uh, um, if you're using uh, obviously uh, Microsoft, uh, you have to use control, um, uh, control A. So command A, it allows, you can see it highlights all of them so you can move all of them at the same time. So there you go, that's tip number five. And then tip number six as we move uh, down is uh, locking an element. Let's say I'm working on this kindness never goes out of style. So now um, I just want to move this style a little bit there and I'll put, or maybe put it there and then change the color, you know, and put my brand color there or your black uh, color there if you like. Uh, and then once you're happy, um, where it is and you want to lock uh, where these two elements are what you can do uh, so that they you don't want uh, like they don't move around or the you know as you move around things uh, they tend to um uh get this time you have to do it again you know all that stuff so um you want to lock them in one place uh and what i'll do i'm just designing at the same time okay there you go so i've got uh, uh this um i'm going to i'm going to highlight uh all of them uh so i'm going to highlight this element that i want to lock and then i'll go to lock that key lock there, so it's done. So now whatever I do, I can only move uh, Canva up there, but I cannot move all these elements because they are all locked. So I can now start adding other things there uh, around to what I'm working on. So that is uh, tip number uh, <clears throat> tip number six. So it is uh, really good as well. It helps um, uh, to save other things uh, while uh, you're you are trying to design a bit more, especially when you're putting a lot of elements in it. And then the next, I'll unlock that. And to remove that again, if you wanna go and move something else, then uh, you just um, highlight them again. 
Um, I think I've already. Oh yeah, they're still locked. You can see that they are locked. Yeah, they are locked. Okay, now they are all good. So the next tip, uh, now tip number seven, is uh, positioning an element. Um, so let's say uh, I've just put this element in here, and. Uh, I'm trying to see, okay, where, where can I put it? Where can I put it? Instead of uh, wasting that time, just put it there. And then while you've got, uh, you've clicked on it, go to position. And then you can now, uh, or if you want to go for it to go to the right, it will do that. Uh, to the left, it will do that. And then you can, you know, then move just a tiny bit, uh, a little bit. But you don't have to waste time trying to position it and find a place for it. You can simply do that and to help you save time. And then, as you notice, uh, Canva, Canva has got the, um, it gives you the line as well. If you want something to be in the center, so it, 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 will, sh it will show you where, if it's uh, in the center. If you want it uh, like right in the middle of the two, it will s it make a cross to show you that it's actually in the right place. So that's another advantage of, uh, of Canva. Uh, there. And then, um, if um, you want to group, uh, that is tip number, tip number seven, tip number seven, uh, number eight. Sorry, <laughs> is uh, grouping elements. If you wanna uh, group all the elements, uh, and then uh, it's more or less similar to uh, to locking, but it's uh, this one you are just grouping all the the elements, so you can highlight all of them, and then group them so now you can uh, you, you, you know you can't edit a, a single one you have to uh, when you move you have to move all of them and uh, you know you can uh, do something uh, you can edit uh, but still you know if in case you want to make it larger on its own you can't because see they're all uh, grouped together so what you can do um, you, you ungroup them if you want to do it if you ungroup them now they are all single now as you can see they can move in each one of them so that is uh, another tip uh, <coughs> tip number uh, tip number eight uh, tip number nine uh, is resizing a uh, design um let's say we've done this design and i want this design uh, this is for uh instagram and then um I i've done this design and now i'll just highlight it then i will i want to make it onto a story uh, to put it on my story so i'll just go to um, resize there and then uh, you can type uh, insta story uh, instagram story there and then you select it obviously there then you um, say copy and resize or if you just want to resize it you can do that, but if you want to have a copy so you don't disturb the uh, the original one, uh, you can do that. You click here and you create a copy. So I will do that and show you. So it's creating a copy as you can see there. Um, then we've got a, a layout of Insta Story. But the other great thing to know is that because this is a computer, it's a machine, so it um, it resizes to the uh, uh, to the dimensions, but you need to then put things in in order in place again. So this is still in the middle, but you maybe you know you need to if it was already up down there on the bigger one size. I'll just go and check that one on this one here. Um, um, where is it? Uh, as you can see, uh, it's closer to the bottom. So that, that, that that's it. Yeah. And then here you can do the same and put it in place and our canvas up there. So it gives you the dimensions, but you still need to sort it out a little bit as well, if you like. And the, the entire thing is now um, uh, into stories. So I'll go back to the original <coughs> and continue. Uh, that's resizing the design. So it's really good. Uh, it helps you uh, do uh, two things at the same time. And now the last tip which i really really like <laughs> is the um the stock photos um previously in canva um you had to if you come here to photos um we have photos here uh, that are some are pro uh, some are got free photos as well i'll just uh, make another layout there one yeah so go to photos and then uh, 
you'll see if you come here, you've got the free photos and the, um, the pro photos. So you've got a free account, uh, which uh, I think is good you should have uh, when you're studying. Uh, so you click on the free and then you apply all, all the photos that will be there, they will be free. So you don't need to worry about uh, um, paying or you know copyright because they are all free. Uh, uh, with Canva uh, uh, because we selected free but if you want the pro ones obviously uh, if you've got a pro account obviously you can uh, tick both of them or you know you don't even need to tick it because they all come it will tell you as you as you do it whether this is pro or not so you can uh, do that and then select uh, uh, a photo that you want um, there you go so that's the great thing about uh, Canva uh, you are uh, You've got um, you've got photos, uh, thousands and thousands of photos on Canva that are free, and uh, if uh, um, you want the pro ones, obviously you can use them. But uh, one thing that I want to mention, the reason why I'm talking about this point is because now uh, Canva has gone even beyond beyond we can imagine. Because what they've done, I don't know if you know of uh, Pixabay and Pixels. These are the the website where you get free photos and free videos and free stuff you know especially photos and videos uh, like a few minutes a few seconds videos if you want to do clips so you get them from pixels so now canva has uh, integrated those two into um into your your canva account so if you come to uh, to more here on the left uh, test bar you've got more here and more brings everything here so you say you've got pixabay there you've got pixels and then now you can even get the photos from facebook the photos from uh, your youtube or your uh, google drive your instagram even from your dropbox you can get them in here and then you start using them uh, so instead of me using uh, that photo i'll take that out i'll go uh, to more uh, to pixels and then you can see pixels uh, the photos are there as you can see and uh, if i go back to um uh oh, this one there if i so they're all quality photos really really great quality photos and uh, uh I'll make another piece. I'll show you um, if I go to um, uh, da, 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 more again. I'll put uh, Pixabay. So Pixabay has got photos as well, amazing photos. You can just uh, search by uh, the topic that you want, and then uh, you'll be happy to have all the great photos. As you can see, these are all free photos. That's the great thing about uh, Canva. Um, you have uh, free photos. Uh, Pixabay and Pixels there got a lot of free photos. So now they've added, uh, you don't really need to pay anything. You used to pay a dollar for a photo, but now you, it's, it's all free. So that is why I, I'm so amazed by by this and I love it. Uh, so it's it's just uh, incredible. These are the tips uh, that uh, uh, I have for you. and. Um, before I finish, I've got one last uh, tip. Uh, this last tip is, uh, um, for me, <laughs> I love it. It's my, it's like a bonus tip. Uh, it's called the letter frames. Uh, I did one uh, before, but I'll, I'll show you uh, how to do this. So I'll just create another page and then all, I'll go to elements. Then on elements, um, I'll search um, letter, um, da, 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 letter frames. Um, can't type <laughs> the frames and then they will come over there they are the letter frames and you can design your letter frames uh, as you like and uh, um, I'll show you what you can do I'll just use my name Okay. Okay. And I'll just make them small because I've used the Instagram um, Instagram layout. So I uh, will.
There you go. And then if I can fit Not as I want it, but it's in there, it doesn't matter. It's just to show you that you, you know the letter frames are there as well. You can uh, play around with them and design stuff that really fun, you know. So what I um I usually do there we go. I got there, then I'll go to photos as I was saying, um <clears throat> Uh, I can okay, okay I can pick uh, this one I think I picked this one um, you can make an <laughs> background <laughs> uh, this is just a fun way of uh, playing with uh, with the letter frames really <laughs> um, Now, there's another tip that you can do to design your, or, you know, your page, your website as well. If you, you, you want to design your own website or your Instagram page, whatever you, you, you want to do, you know, it's, uh, it's just nice to have uh, something like this uh, to, to play around. And Canva gives us that opportunity. So I'm going to see if I can change the background. Uh, there you go. Uh, da -da. No, maybe. Yeah, I think that's it. There you go. So you can play around with it, really. So that's amazing what Canva can do. There you go. So that's my bonus for you, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, if uh, this um, tutorial has uh, given you some tips that are available to you please leave a, um, a comment below and uh, again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click onto that notification bell so that you can uh, be able to um to be notified when um i send uh when i i, I obviously when I, I post a video so uh with that i uh, just want to thank you for uh, everything that you you've uh, uh done that is being here today and um uh you know learning with us uh, as i said before i post two videos a week one video for personal development and one video for health and nutrition this is to help us uh, you know help each other and you know just uh, get the message out there so people can uh, do uh, something for themselves so we learn from each other so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, again uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or to my channel and click that uh, um, notification bell and I will hope to see you next time uh, with my next video. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. <music>